Hi everybody, I'm Belinda Allen and I have a Power BI tiny tip for you. Here I am in a customer report and I want to add a Q&A visual to it. And we know Q&A visuals exist, we've been using them for a while, but I want to show you a couple of really cool things about it. I'm going to first go in and add it. Now I can either add the visual from the visualization pane or I can come up to insert and add it from the AI visuals. So I'm going to go ahead and add it here and insert it across. There we go. So we have a nice space. Now this visual has some suggested questions based on what it determined from the data set. This happens to be a list of customers. So if I started typing in show available balance by customer, so it shows me, oh, all right, so let me do it by customer name. So now I can see the available balance by customer name. It doesn't really know, hey, what is available? I got the balance. This actually is not right. So I want to go in and assign a synonym of available credit to this available balance. There's this new icon up here on the right, a gear or cog. And when I hover over it, I could see I can teach Q&A. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I could come in and go straight to teach Q&A. And it shows that particular visual that I pulled up and it has available. It's like, I don't know what available means. But instead, I'm going to go into field synonyms and I'm going to come down. And now I have available credit. I'm going to come in and add available balance. Of course, I need to spell it right. There we go. And now I'm going to close that out. And now it recognizes I mean the field available balance. Well, what if I call customers Bubba's? So now I'm going to come in and type in Bubba. There we go. And it's like, I don't know what Bubba means. So let me come back to that Teach Q&A. And I'm going to click on Teach Q&A, and I can see Bubba is selected. And now it's like, I don't understand the term. So I'm going to say Bubba refers to customers. And now I'll go ahead and choose Save, and then close this out. And now I have my new visual using my term Bubba. And the last place I want to show you about using synonyms is in the relationship mode. So when I have a customer pulled up here, if I were to click on customer name, I have this property pane that pops up and I can enter in synonyms for the customer name right here. So I can put in a comma and type in client and I could put in guest or whatever the customer name would be. So now that I've done that, let me come back to my list here and I'm going to change this to show available balance by guest. And it knows automatically to use the customer name. This is a great way to put your company's terminology inside of Q&A so that your end users can use it easier. That's another tiny tip from Belinda. I hope this helps.